I'd like to discuss why projects fail if quality is poor. And unfortunately, some of the information I have on that comes from working as an expert witness in some lawsuits. Of course, I'm not a lawyer and this is not legal advice. These are just observations that I've noticed on projects that were in court because they were never delivered or they never ran. The normal reason that projects fail because of poor quality is that they seem to be on schedule and they seem to be under control until testing starts. And then there's such a deluge of bugs, including high severity bugs, that the testing schedule stretches out for months and months and months. And while that testing is going on, that means that the entire delivery of the project is extended, which means that the return on investment, the actual value of the software, keeps getting lower and lower and lower. And eventually, the value will turn negative and the project will either be canceled because the client is dissatisfied and refuses to pay for it, or it will be delivered. And when it's delivered, it will have so many bugs in it that the software never performs as originally specified and the client can't actually use it. So both of those cases, either very delayed delivery because of poor quality during testing or delivering the software and finding that it doesn't work can lead to litigation. And it happens that if you measure the actual cost of canceled projects and compare those costs to successfully completed projects, a canceled project costs about 15% more than a successfully completed project of the same type. Now, of course, if the canceled project ends up in court, there can be triple damages, there can be millions of dollars in excess costs.